Hidden in these stark hills is Egypt's most beautiful site, the tomb of Queen Nefertari. This wonder is located in the Valley of the Queens in Luxor, Egypt. You'll need two tickets to get in. The first for the Valley of the Queens is about five US dollars, and the second for the tomb of Nefertari is about 70 US dollars. That first ticket will give you access to the three other open tombs in the Valley of the Queens as well. One of the reasons that the tombs here are so well preserved thousands of years later is that it's really dry and hot. So make sure you come prepared. I visited mid-morning in October and was sweating a lot. I'm really grateful for the bike shorts I wore under my dress. My friends and I visited all of the open tombs in the valley, starting with the tomb of Prince Kaim Waset. Kaim Waset was a son of Ramses III, and some archaeologists believe he is the son of Queen Titi, whose tomb we'll visit next. Prince Kaim Waset was the eldest of Ramses III's sons, and his tomb is quite large and elaborately detailed. If you visit Egypt, don't forget to look up. Many of the ceilings are really beautifully decorated. The prince is shown throughout the tomb wearing the distinctive side lock of the child and being presented by his father to the various gods. The second tomb we visited was that of Queen Titi. Queen Titi is believed to have been a wife of Ramses III and the mother of both princes with open tombs in the valley. Unfortunately, the millennia have not been kind to the tomb of Queen Titi. It's in pretty bad shape. The final tomb included in your admission prize to the Valley of the Queens is that of Prince Amun Kosef. He was again a son of Ramses III and believed to have been a son of Queen Titi. It is likely that the prince died young. Like his brother, he is shown throughout his tomb with his hair in the distinctive side lock of youth. This tomb houses a small case where a mummified fetus is displayed. This fetus was found elsewhere in the valley and maybe another son of Ramses III. The tomb of Prince Amun Kosef retains a lot of its original colour and is quite beautiful to see.
one of the great marvels of the Valley of the Queens, Luxor, Egypt, and really the whole world, is the tomb of Queen Nefertari. state the beauty of this tomb. The ticket price is steep and you're only allowed 10 minutes in the tomb, but it is really marvelous and lives up to its title as the Sistine Chapel of Egypt. Nefertari was the great royal wife of Ramses II and somewhat uniquely for her time was able to read and write. Records of her correspondence with foreign rulers still remain. Her titles included Lady of Grace and the one for whom the sun shines. There's nothing like it. It is so beautiful. It's just the colors, the details. It's exquisite. You don't want to look away. I'm in the stairwell. You can see the stars and the ceiling behind me. chamber back here? Oh, right here.
this room is the most beautiful, the most intact, I should say. Really stunning. So this is it, the tomb of Nefertari, the great wife of Ramses II, the most exquisite tomb in all of Egypt. The colours are just magnificent. The whole place is absolutely stunning. The ticket's expensive, but it's well worth it. It's something else. Thank you for joining me on my trip to the Valley of the Queens. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you next time, somewhere in the wider world.